Picture this, it's the mid-1970s, and the glow of your vintage television set bathes your living room in a warm, nostalgic hue. You're comfortably nestled on the couch, a bowl of popcorn in hand, as the opening credits of the 1975 TV series switch roll out to the screen. The soothing yet mysterious melody of the theme song fills the room, and you're instantly transported to an era of retro charm and thrilling adventures. Do you remember that very first encounter with the enigmatic world of Pete Ryan and Frank McBride? The electric chemistry between Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, two private investigators masquerading as a priest and a con artist, kept you glued to the screen week after week. Perhaps it was their witty banter, their knack for solving cases, or the ever-present anticipation of their next disguise that etched switch into your memory. As you journey back to those unforgettable moments, let's dive deeper into this gem of a series. Did you know that Switch was renowned for its unique blend of crime solving and comedy, carving out a special niche in the television landscape of its time? It was a show that skillfully danced between suspenseful investigations and uproarious laughter, leaving a lasting imprint on the hearts of its viewers. So, get ready to unlock a treasure trove of fascinating facts about Switch that you never knew before. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the show's enduring legacy, well uncover the hidden gems that make Switch a timeless classic. Buckle up, dear reader, as we embark on this delightful journey through the captivating world of Switch, where mystery and humor were the order of the day. And remember, it's all about the thrill of the chase and the joy of discovery, just like Pete and Frank did back in the 70 seconds. 70 seconds. 70 seconds. In 1975, the TV series Switch made its debut on CBS. Starring Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, this show marked Eddie Albert's return to television after a four-year hiatus following the cancellation of Green Acres. Notably, both Albert and Wagner appeared in every episode of the series. Switch premiered on Tuesday, September 9th, 1975, at 10 p.m. EDT, 9 p.m. PDT on CBS. This time slot change had a ripple effect, as it bumped the popular Hawaii 5 series to Fridays at 9 p.m. ET, 8 p.m. PT on the same network. The show's premise revolved around two former con artists who now worked as private investigators, and it delivered a mix of comedy and crime solving. With Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner in the lead roles, Switch drew viewers and created a notable chapter in their careers. And that's the scoop on Switch, the 1975 TV series that brought Eddie Albert back to television alongside Robert Wagner, becoming a Tuesday night favorite on CBS. Stay tuned for more TV history. The 1975 TV series Switch holds a notable place in television history for launching the career of Sharon Bless. In this crime drama, Bless portrayed Maggie Philbin, a clever and resourceful con artist who teamed up with two retired cops, Frank McBride and Pete Ryan, to solve crimes. While the show didn't achieve immense popularity, it provided Sharon Bless with a platform to showcase her talent. She went on to gain widespread recognition and acclaim for her role as Christine Cagney in the hit series Cagney and Lacey, solidifying her status as a prominent actress in the industry. Regarding the connection between Eddie Albert and Lorenzo Lamas, it is worth mentioning that Eddie Albert later worked with Lorenzo Lamas on the popular TV series Falcon Crest. The two actors first met when Lorenzo Lamas guest starred on an episode of Switch. This encounter marked the beginning of a professional relationship that extended beyond Switch and into the world of Falcon Crest. Additionally, in occasional interviews, it was revealed that Eddie Albert, Robert Wagner, and Sharon Bless shared a close bond both on and off the set of Switch. Their camaraderie translated into real-life friendship, which endured until Eddie Albert's passing in 2005. This sense of connection among the cast members contributed to the show's chemistry and the lasting impact it had on their careers. In summary, Switch not only served as a launching pad for Sharon Bless' television career, but also fostered lasting relationships among its cast members, exemplified by Eddie Albert's subsequent collaboration with Lorenzo Lamas. This 1975 TV series may not have been a huge hit, but it left a significant mark on the entertainment industry and the lives of those involved. Those involved. Those in Eddie Albert's versatile roles in the 1975 TV series Switch Eddie Albert spent much of his acting career, playing both good-natured men in villainous roles. In the 1975 TV series Switch, 
He continued this trend by taking on the character of Pete Ryan, one of the two lead roles in the show. Switch was a crime drama that followed the adventures of Pete Ryan and his partner Malcolm Argos, who were con men with a knack for solving crimes. The show was canceled after its third season, with the last episode airing on July 9, 1978. It marked the end of the Pete Ryan and Malcolm Argos duo on television. However, in August of 1979, Robert Wagner, who played Pete Ryan, returned to television in the pilot movie of Heart to Heart with Stephanie Powers and Lionel Stander. Switch provided Eddie Albert with the opportunity to showcase his versatility as an actor. His portrayal of Pete Ryan, a charming con man with a heart of gold, added depth to the character. Audiences were drawn to the show's unique blend of crime-solving and humor, and Eddie Albert's performance was a key factor in its success. In summary, Eddie Albert's role as Pete Ryan in the 1975 TV series Switch exemplified his ability to play a wide range of characters throughout his acting career. Despite the show's cancellation after three seasons, his talent continued to shine in subsequent projects like Heart to Heart. Eddie Albert's contribution to the world of television remains a notable chapter in the history of entertainment. Mint, 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 mint. Long before Robert Wagner and Sharon Bless starred on the 1975 TV series Switch, both of them were lifelong Eddie Albert fans as little children. Robert Wagner and Sharon Bless, well known for their roles in the 1975 TV series Switch, had a deep admiration for their co-star Eddie Albert long before they shared the screen. As children, both Wagner and Gless were avid followers of Eddie Albert's work in the entertainment industry. Eddie Albert, a seasoned actor with an extensive career, had already made a name for himself with roles in movies and television shows. Wagner and Gless, in their formative years, watched and admired his performances, which left a lasting impression on them. When they eventually had the opportunity to work alongside Eddie Albert and Switch, it was a dream come true for both actors. Their shared admiration for Albert's talent and professionalism likely contributed to the chemistry and camaraderie seen on the show. Switch, a crime drama series that aired in the mid-1970s, featured Robert Wagner and Eddie Albert as two private investigators who took on a variety of cases. Sharon Bless joined the cast later in the series, adding to its appeal. In retrospect, the fact that Robert Wagner and Sharon Bless were lifelong Eddie Albert fans underscores the significance of their collaboration on Switch. It's a testament to how their shared admiration for a seasoned actor translated into a successful partnership on the small screen. In conclusion, the 1975 TV series Switch brought together talented actors who not only delivered captivating performances, but also shared a deep-rooted respect for each other's work. With Robert Wagner and Sharon Bless being lifelong fans of their co-star, Eddie Albert. Eddie Albert. Eddie Albert. In the final season of the 1975 TV series Switch, Pete Ryan made a significant move, both in the storyline and within the show's setting. He took up residence in an apartment located above Malcolm Argo's bar. This shift in location added a new dimension to the show's dynamics, as it brought Pete closer to the central hub of the character's activities, allowing for more interactions and plot development centered around the bar. This change contributed to the show's evolving narrative and character relationships as it neared its conclusion. As the series progressed, Switch underwent various shifts in its storytelling. By the second and third seasons, some viewers and critics began to notice that the storylines were becoming somewhat formulaic and predictable. This, in turn, led to a decline in the show's viewership and ultimately resulted in its cancellation. Interestingly, a connection can be made between the character Mac Bride's preference for organic orange juice and the actor Eddie Albert's real-life role as an organic farmer. Eddie Albert was known for his commitment to organic farming a passion he pursued outside of his acting career. His dedication to this cause may have influenced the writers to incorporate this detail into Mac Bride's character, adding a touch of authenticity to his on-screen persona. While Switch may have faced challenges in its later seasons, it remains a noteworthy part of television history, offering a unique blend of crime-solving and humor that captivated audiences during its run. In 1975, the TV series Switch hit the screens, bringing a unique blend of crime and comedy to viewers. While it may not be widely known, the show drew inspiration from the acclaimed film The Sting. 
The series featured Frank McBride, played by Eddie Albert, and Pete Ryan, portrayed by Robert Wagner, as two con artists turned private investigators. Eddie Albert, known for his roles in various television shows, became producer Glenna Larson's top choice for the role of Frank McBride. What made this casting interesting was the lifelong friendship between Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, who was a devoted fan of Albert. This connection led to Eddie Albert taking on the role, adding depth and chemistry to the on-screen partnership. Interestingly, in one episode of Switch, Mac Bride becomes a surrogate father to Pete. This dynamic takes an intriguing turn when you consider that in real life, Eddie Albert was 24 years older than Robert Wagner, highlighting their remarkable on-screen chemistry. So, Switch not only drew inspiration from a classic film, but also benefited from the strong camaraderie between its lead actors. This blend of elements contributed to the show's appeal and made it a memorable part of television history. And that's the intriguing backstory of Switch, a show that brought con games and crime solving to our TV screens in 1975. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Switch, it's time to turn the sands of time and journey back through the annals of television history. This 1975 gem has woven itself into the tapestry of our lives, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. Whether you were a devoted fan since day one or stumbled upon it in later years, Switch has a unique ability to resonate with viewers across generations. Now, as the credits roll one final time, we invite you to pause and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic series. What drew you in? Was it the magnetic chemistry between Pete and Mac? The intricate web of mysteries they unraveled? Or perhaps the stylish 70 seconds vibe that transported you to a different era? Whatever it may be, your memories and thoughts are the threads that continue to weave the legacy of Switch. Share with us your favorite moments, the scenes that made you laugh, the mysteries that left you in awe, or the characters who felt like old friends. Let's celebrate the magic of Switch together and keep the spirit of this timeless show alive. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey down memory lane and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your connection to Switch is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in our lives. Until we meet again in the world of timeless tales, stay tuned to the adventures of yesteryear. Warm regards. Regards. Regards.